welcome to this video. I want to look at this book, A Monster Calls, the art and vision behind the film. So this is a book to accompany the movie, A Monster Calls. Um, it's not a particularly happy movie, it has to be said. I started watching it thinking, mistakenly, that it might be a good one to watch with the kids, but actually it's a pretty dark film and it's quite sad. Now my book here, as you can see, has got this, got it from World of Books. It's been a bit damaged. Um, it's got stickers on it, it's not an amazing shape. The worst bit is actually the, the spine. You can see it's like coming away, look there. It isn't great, but it's good enough for me to be able to show you this book in this video. The pages themselves are all fine. What's also strange about this book is it's quite long, as you can see, it's quite an unusual um, kind of format that, isn't it? More like a sort of a photo album or something. Um, anyway, it's, it's published by Insight Editions, but, um, what does it say here? It's based on a novel, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. It's got a few people that you would recognise in here, including Sigourney Weaver. Um, it's got the voice of Liam Neeson doing the monster, I believe. So let's have a look, there's the, it's got a nice spine. Let's have a look inside. See if we can fit it on, it's quite a long book, as I say. Just about fits on the screen, I think. Just to say, it was published in 2016. And that's a nice image of the monster's face, isn't it? Here's the contents. I will zoom in because you can't probably read that too good. There you can see what's included in the book. And without further ado, I shall leaf through the pages for you.
Well, we're getting towards the end there. I'm going to go out on a bit of a limb here because this book is stunning in terms of the amount of information included within. Um, here's some credits and stuff at the acknowledgements and all kinds of names. I think, um, you know, it's not really an art book so much as a making of book. And in terms of it, you know, being a making of book, it's one of the best I've seen. It really has gone into such depth and intricate detail about how this film was made. It's fascinating. So, I mean, look at that. The, the garden and the house has just a set there, look. You wouldn't have known it, would you necessarily, mate, when you're uh, you know, watching that film. Some of the special effects are amazing in this film. I really, I'd forgotten about the animated sequences as well. There's quite a big section here, isn't there, on those those animated sections. They really add to the film. Um, and I also, I kind of stupidly just sort of thought Liam Neeson did voice acting, but he's obviously been more involved than just that. He's actually done you know, the acting and there's bits about, you can see him actually acting out the monster's movements, etc., playing that character. So, yeah, I'm, this is a fantastic book. I wasn't sure whether I would keep this book, to be honest, especially with it being in this slightly poor condition, but not only has uh, looking through this book made me, A, want to keep it, because it's going to be something I want to look back at, but B, it's made me want to watch the film again. I want to rediscover that film, because it's obviously worth a rewatch. So an excellent book, definitely one for the fans, of the film, but also if you're just into movie making and you want to have an insight into how these kinds of films are made, it's a must have, I would say. So thanks for watching and see you next time.